what is up welcome back to another live stream i see the market is starting to recover and some things happened i've been pretty active uh we're gonna get into a lot of things today uh let's see who's here um comments what's up dan d souza what is up Jay, what is up? We'll get to your questions. Hector, what is up? What's up, guys? Hey, John. Oh, by the way, I just reminded me because <laughs> the Hey, John reminded me. So uh, the YouTube membership, not the Discord, YouTube, I create a second tier. It's $1. Um, I'm adding emojis to it. Hopefully this week it's going to be uh, – it's in the works now. I want all you guys, if you want to, to be able to do emojis and spam the chat if you want to. So uh, it's a dollar if you guys want to do it. Um, but just know I am going to be uh, <laughs> putting emojis soon. So I, I, it's two tiers. It, the first one's winner. It's a dollar. second one's champion, $5. So if you want to have fun on the, on the live stream, it's it's cool. Like your name lights up like, like Jay, for example. Uh, so yeah, I just want you guys to know, um, <laughs> which we got a new member also. So yeah, once I add the, uh, the, uh, emojis, you guys are going to laugh at some of them. So I'm trying, I'm coming up with nine, but I think YouTube lets you have four to start. Um, we'll get to your question later, but yeah, guys, try to refrain from asking about so many cryptos. It's not really an annoyance thing. It's more about like respecting other people on discord. Um, I want to show you guys this first of all on my Twitter. Um, I posted this before. So Grand Base, apparently this is a new crypto. It rugged in 24 hours. It went from $3 to 0049. And apparently from what I was told, it was a migration. Some said it was a hack. And I told you guys how migrations, 95% of them are death. And how hacks can be the team taking profits and not trying to get attacked by the authorities, you know, the pursuit rather. Um, and some people had really bad reactions to this. One guy's like, bro, you don't know anything. I can't believe it. Like, I don't know if it's the team or someone who put their life savings into it. Um, this is why you cannot be emotionally attached to crypto. Imagine if you slept, you know, throughout this whole night and you woke up because when I woke up today, it was this price, a penny. So imagine if you saw this, you bought it even like lower than this. Let's just say $2, a dollar, even a dollar, right? And you wake up and you're down over 100x. Like you're down 100x. That's insane. You put a thousand dollars in, you're down to like ten dollars. Um, and then some of the comments here, <laughs> mega rugged. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, this this guy says they got hacked and LP was drained. So this is the thing, right? Hacks do happen. They do happen. But it, it's hard to really track to see if it's actually a hack, okay? It's very hard. You don't know if it actually was a legit hack or the team is just trying to take profits and hide behind a hack. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying, like, crypto's very – it's very hard to figure out what's happening, right? They're saying an exploit happened. I'm not going to click it, but – you know, you, you do what you want, right? I'm just saying, like, migrations are usually bad. There are some exceptions, like Render was a good one. Ethereum was a good one. But some that I don't like was Gala migrating. Um, Parsec is going to be doing it soon. Um, so there are some migrations. And also DYP, which I know BitBoy likes. But that one migrated not just one time, two times. So migrations are not good, guys. Usually not good. Some are good. It depends on the reason, right? Render migrated to the solana chain it wasn't just an erc20 again they migrated to solana which is a cheaper faster ledger which for renders utility in the ai space with what they want to do it's actually more bullish for them and then ethereum migrated to become proof of stake which yes made it more centralized but it's what the big players wanted to see they wanted to see a widely adoptable energy conservative institutional backed politician backed crypto which that's ethereum so that's that's why they made the merge and that's why ethereum uh did it successfully also for ethereum the net issuance of it reduced significantly if you go on ultrasound money the supply of what's being burned and what's being sorry being uh, issued and what's being burned 
it's being deflationary. Even though Ethereum is inherently an inflationary asset, it's deflationary by nature now. So just keep that in mind. Um, some migrations are bad. Some are good. You got to do your own uh, due diligence here and see, uh, you know, what you want to do, what moves you want to make, right? So uh, definitely important. Um, this is not to hate on this crypto. This is me literally telling you guys, be aware of what's going on. You know, just because you see, oh, yeah, we're migrating, guys. We're going to do this better. We're going to do this better. It doesn't mean it's good. They're just trying to sell you that. It's up to you if you want to buy that narrative, buy what they're saying, or don't. Like, for example, Gala, you know, I, I'm, I've been very adamant about speaking up about cryptos that I used to be bullish on, right? Gala, I got so much hate for it, but I didn't care, right? I sold it at three cents. What's it at now? And that was over a year ago. Let's see where Gala's at now. I even had another YouTuber make a video about me saying I'm I'm paper handing it and that crypto is not for me. And I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. So right now, Gala is four cents. So I would have made a uh, a 1.5x in over a year if I held Gala. I mean, take your pick: Aerodrome, PNG, GFI, even Casper during that time. I made more than a 1.5x. So to me, it's not a, a, a lose, a loss. To me, that's the right move. Um, now, the reason why I got out of Gala back then was because when they went to V2 and announced it, they gave everybody a two weeks notice. They said the three reasons were this. <laughs> I still can't forget them. And by the way, Coinbase never relisted Gala. You notice that? So uh, I... I initially said, guys, it doesn't add up. They said better tracking the burns for their Gala chain initially. Um, so we don't have to do this again and uh, increase the centralization. The burns, that to me sound like BS. The centralization, it's still ERC-20. Nothing changes. Bullshit. So we don't have to do this again. We're going to do this. Please just believe us in that we're not going to do it again. Again, didn't care, wasn't bullish. And then not only that, they burned part of the supply, but it was the circulating supply. So they became more inflationary, and they also printed more tokens out of thin air, which is what? More money for them. Why they in court? A $600 million uh, of gala is missing, and someone's being accused of theft. Okay, so I, maybe I'm on to something here. Don't care, not holding it. I'm just saying the more self-aware you are in this market, the better off you're going to be. Because if you're blindly married to your crypto, and I still get hate for Gala, even though uh, it still has yet to be a 2x for me from when I sold it. Um, stuff like this, grand base, this happens every day, guys. Every day. And you got to be careful, right? It could be a crypto that you're looking at or holding. You know, some of you guys go for like these DGEN, VPN only DEX cryptos. And listen, I don't care what you do, but this with a team that's not established, which I don't know anything about them, okay? I, I don't know anything about them. I'm just saying off the top of my head now. If you have a crypto that's brand new, that, uh, you know, the team is maybe not docs or they don't have any major exchange listings yet or... It hasn't been around long enough to see what's going on. You take the risk as an investor to trust that team. Are they going to get it listed? Are they going to market it? Is it going to get on a KuCoin, Maxi, Coinbase, Binance? So you're putting a lot of faith into the team, you know, to get it on these exchanges because the whales and retail, you and me, we're not going to use a VPN. The majority of us don't use VPN to buy crypto. So if you want to pump your DJ and play, Unfortunately, you got to get it on a tier one exchange. And to be honest, that's why Caspa is not pumping as fast as everyone thinks. Because Caspa, as much as we love it, the majority of whales and uh, you know retail, they're not going to buy Caspa until it gets on a crypto.com at the very least, or a Gemini, or a Kraken, something. People are not just jumping on Mexi with VPNs and jumping through hoops. I know retail wants to think that's, that's what's happening, but it's not. It's not happening, okay? That's a fallacy. Again, if you want to see your crypto pump, people think it's the legit exchange listing catalyst, which it does pump, but more specifically, it's the exposure to that marketplace. The investors on Coinbase, the investors on Binance, the investors on Gemini, Crypto.com, Kraken. It's not the actual listing. Like, for example, Potential Tau, 
got listed on two exchanges and did nothing with the pump. Okay, so it's not the inherently uh, listing on the exchange. It's that exposure now to investors who want to buy it, who didn't want to buy it prior. That's what pumps the crypto for that reason. Obviously, we've seen cryptos like Artblock, Aerodrome, you know, GFI, PNG, you know, picks like that that pumped and are already on Coinbase. From, from not being on the exchange itself, just having that marketplace, maybe it's a few partnerships. In Aerodrome's case, uh, base TVL increased massively. That's why you see every YouTuber doing uh, videos on memes from Brett and all that. And then also exposure. So now when you have a crypto that's on a tier one exchange plus marketing, plus exposure, plus activity, plus the team being active, that's what sends crypto soaring. Um, so keep that in mind, right? That's why I've been revisiting my plan. Um, I've been buying some VC back crypto because I'm starting to realize connections matter. Like GFI last night was recovering nicely. Aerodrome was one of the strongest holding assets during this crash. And uh, it really does matter who you're connected to, right? Because it doesn't matter how good your crypto is. If no one's there to buy it and no one cares about it, it's not going to pump no matter what you think or I think. Um, that being said, though, I did add two plays uh, recently. And this is the thing, right? I'm getting questions now on, John, do you think we're going to see another dip, this and that? These questions always come from people. And not to hate if you guys are all asking me in the comments. I'm not hating. I have to teach you guys this. These questions come from people who don't take action. Like, I don't know if you guys remember. I posted on Twitter. I was like taking off the gym, buying crypto. I got so much flack. John, why are you going so heavy all in one go? This is going to last for six months. Uh, there's more uh, There's more pain to come, whether that's true or not. But listen, I've been doing this for a long time. My channel started in the bear market in 2022. I've seen the worst of crypto. I know when you see a flash crash or a black swan event, you don't think about so much of dollar cost averaging. All the planning goes out the window. You look at your bank, you look at your watch list, you see what's down, and you just dump money into the market. That's what I've been doing. Like, I don't flinch. I bought so much crypto in the last few days where I'm like, hey, if it goes down further, so be it. I bought some great discounts. Like, Bitcoin was uh, was 61K, and now it's, what, 65K? Like, the recovery is like that, guys. That's for Bitcoin. All these old coins are rising up, too. Um, so understand, like, the less proactive you are as an investor, the more you're going to miss out on opportunities. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to see another sell-off, so on and so forth, but... A lot of you guys like are always waiting for the perfect moment to make a move. And that's what's going to stop you from making all these gains. Like Bitcoin right now, it's dipping 64K. It's still not down to 61K when I was making moves. Um, what else? Uh, Caspa went below 10 cents, I believe, for a brief moment. Now it's 12 cents. Um, GFI was low. Um, these two plays I added, I want to go over them real quick. Uh, I'm going to make probably videos on them as well. But I want to show you guys a couple of crypto um, that I bought recently. But yeah, I want you guys to understand, like, the time is now. I, I'm not saying the same stuff because uh, I want you guys to just be, you know, say, oh, he's a parrot. Like, all these questions, and I know why they're coming. It's because maybe you felt like you missed out. Listen, if you didn't have money, that's one thing, right? But if you had money to spend on crypto and you watch these flash deals happen i even had one guy on twitter actually let me see if i can pull it up first i gave him solid advice because this is a common behavior in much retail that i definitely want you guys to be aware of because if you're if you're thinking like this guy and not to hate on him again teach a moment you got to take your ego out of this um let's see here we go um i think this is it here we go perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. <clears throat> I said, I hope this crash lasts for a while. Reminds me of 2022 vibes. And then this guy, Zach Attack, said, nah, man, this is going to get worse. World War Three in the Black Swan event everyone was having. I'm going to be out of the market soon. Then I said, uh, Zach, just know every beginner makes the same mistake you are about to make. Remember who warned you. So um, that's a common behavior in much retail. They either get scared. By the way, a lot of you guys are asking like, hey, John, you still bullish on this crypto because it's down for like two days. 
Listen, I'm not going to answer those comments. I'm not going to give you guys confirmation bias, okay? I tell my Discord the same thing. The ones who are watching from Discord, they know. I made an announcement. I said, guys, I'm not feeding you any confirmation bias. I'm not giving you a 1,000 price predictions. I am not justifying you making your move. I give you guys my foundational research as to why I'm bullish or why I'm bearish or why I'm making this move, why I'm not making this move. And it's up to you to take that foundation and apply it and either go in or stay away. So all those comments, I haven't seen them yet, but I know I'm going to get some. Hey, John, this crypto hasn't moved for two days. You're still bullish. Hey, John, um, this one hasn't moved up in you know, three weeks. You're still bullish. Listen, to answer all those questions right here in one spot, I do not give a F about short-term price action. When you're a buy and hold investor, you're used to buying in the red days when all those questions are happening. When I see those questions, I look at my bank, I look at my crypto, and I buy. The day I start taking profits is when they go, hey, John, is it too late? And I see it up 100x. Then I'm like, okay, maybe I'll take profits now. So fastest way to get this answer out to everyone who's going to have that question about any crypto, XYZ crypto. If you're asking that question, you're probably very early. And I guarantee it, you're not the only person wondering that with that question. Don't think about short term. Think about the long term. Zoom out. Where do you see that crypto next year? And you'll be surprised how many of these questions you guys can answer yourself. Okay, I'm not making you guys dependent cheap investors. I don't care if you hate me for that. I am teaching you guys how to be successful, confident investors to make money yourself. My Discord is the same way. If you join, yes, I'm going to help you. Yes, I'm going to answer your questions. But again, it's not going to be a done-for-you approach. I'm not going to be like, hey, sure, I'll take your $10,000. Let's go allocate it for you. No, I'm not doing any of that, okay? I'm not going to give you guys an easy way out. I'm going to help you guys become confident AF <laughs> in your own portfolio so you guys can make the money yourself. But I'll be your guide. I'll still be your guide. I'm not going to be like, think of me as like, <clears throat> you're driving your car and like the recent videos where I'm in the passenger seat talking, that's me. I'm next to you. I may point to you where to drive, where to go, but you're driving the car. Okay. I'm not driving your own car. Would you have someone in, in your life right now say, hey, can I drive your car to your job for you? Like, no, probably not. Right. You drive your own car. I'm in the passenger. Maybe I'm playing with the radio, the playlist. You know, stuff like that, but I'm not driving your car. So think of it that way. <laughs> That's probably a good way to explain it. <laughs> so now let's go to coin market cap. <clears throat> I don't want to talk forever in this stream, so we're almost at 20 minutes already. So I'm gonna go over some of the new plays I got into. And then I'm going to the gym after this. I'm trying, I've been losing weight, so I'm trying to get back in shape. And I'm still fasting. So the first one I got was this math token. And yes, I leaked it on, on Twitter. Some of you guys got it. Some of you didn't. I was like, I'm not the best at math, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to multiply this or something. I forget what I said. And my discord was laughing because I'm like, I wonder if the audience on Twitter knew that I actually bought that crypto or if they just, just thought I was trolling. It was so funny. Um, but yes, I bought math. Um, when I first found out about this, this is Dion's pick from MIC. So I I saw he got in at 20 million market cap, a great entry for him. Um, I wasn't sold on it then. I was still researching it. That's the thing with me, guys. I, I'm not so concerned about getting so early to some of these plays. Like, yes, you want to get in early. I'm more, I want to make sure I'm certain that I'm bullish on a crypto. So, yes, I got in 60 million market cap. 47 cents which is up right now it wasn't 20 cents whatever or whatever it was at 20 million market cap but um you know for me i'm happy with it right because I, I i spent enough time to research it it's like a i'm still obviously researching it still but it's a multi-dap like wallet and and platform for dApps like it's a very versatile crypto the tokenomics are amazing they have a 200 million supply which is like art block, very scarce. They have the majority of it in circulation, like, you know, 60%. And the business model is great. The team buys back their tokens. They just did a burn recently. They burn some of the supply and then buy it back. And apparently that's one of their incentives. So 
it reminds me of a good business model crypto that also has strong utility. I think Web3, DeFi, which is what this one's in, wallets like Suku is also a Web3 wallet we got into, um, dApps, decentralized applications, like all that to me is the future. Layer ones are the future. They already are the future. So this is a play that's very niche, but also very scarce. I mean, it can rock a ship like crazy. It already went to 86 cents and cooled off. I mean, look at the month chart, guys. 160%. Now, I hate myself because I, I could have bought it here, and I just didn't want to fumble into it. I wanted to wait until I researched it. But even so, guys, like it's only a 66 million market cap. These utility tokens are multi-billion dollar market caps by the end of the cycle. And this one getting to one billion is five dollars. So even a 10x from here is like nothing for a utility crypto in this space. So the sky is the limit for this one. It's probably gonna be over ten dollars this cycle easily. They're very scarce, and especially if they keep burning that supply. My God, look out. Like, even though I missed it at 20, 20 cents, it went to 86 cents recently. So I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before it breaks a dollar. I really do. But make sure you research it. Don't just jump in because I'm bullish. Again, I'm very bullish on it. Doesn't mean you have to from the jump. Make sure you research it. Another one I got into is called Forda. They're both on Coinbase, by the way. Man, I have like a headache. Ugh. My bad, guys. I have like a migraine all of a sudden. So uh, Ford Up is a 76 million market cap crypto. They got a larger supply, but it's only 1 billion. They're very early. Circling supply is not great. They have less than 40%. However, Ford Up is another connected crypto. Coinbase backed it. Many VCs backed it. And the top wallet only holds 3%. I was just as surprised to see that. When I was researching that, I was like, holy crap, 30%. I don't think I've ever seen a crypto where a top wall only holds that much, especially for a VC backed crypto, which usually has a poor allocation. So this one, we bought it at 16 cents. Look at this. The old chart, the lowest it got was 8 cents. So I bought it pretty much at the bottom. Like, look at this, 8 cents. I bought it at 16. Even this price, 20 cents. Less than a 3x up from the bottom. Um, let me just pull it up. Uh, so this one is like the police crypto. It tracks on-chain activity. Now, I know as a crypto enthusiast, you probably hate that. You're like, what the hell? Blockchain and Bitcoin is meant to be like anonymous, whatever. I totally understand that. This is not about being an enthusiast versus you know hating it. This is about following the money. They're backed by Coinbase, backed by VCs. The utility is solid. We do have some bad actors in crypto. So if anything, this is bullish. I imagine companies are going to use Forda to help monitor activity. It reminds me of Chainlink a lot with the off-chain and on-chain, but it also reminds me of Parsec. I used to hold Parsec before they migrated to React Token, which they're going to do. And Parsec had a similar utility where it would monitor activity. And Parsec, I know, was a big player in KuCoin. KuCoin had a big hack one time, and Parsec was able to track it down, Where what happened to it. So Florida, to me, I think is going to do similar things that, like that, but it's also backed by big players. And again, $1 billion supply, which means a $1 tag, which is a 5x from here, is a $1 billion market cap. This thing can easily be $3, $5 or more to cycle, easily. Um, real quick, let me just bring up the site so I can show you guys who they're connected to. Um, I got into it, guys. I made so many moves uh during that flash crash. I DCA into Caspa, I bought math, I bought Florida. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm very proactive. I don't just tell you guys one thing and do the other. Um, you have to be proactive if you want to catch the bottoms, you can't hesitate, you can't flinch. Um, and you're still early, by the way. Like, all these prices I'm showing you are still discounts. Just make sure you research. So, look at Florida's website. Let me show you. And then I'll get into a QA after this. So look, Intel and Web, Security Intel and Web3, beautiful page. You can you know follow all this stuff, blog, whatever. Great. I just want to show you guys who they're connected to. Um, so this is, I guess, their ecosystem, compounds and winding protocol, trusted by a hundred teams, labs is a company. Um, 
Phantom, not not bad. Now look at this. Uh, okay, bullish. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Right here. World class partners. Coinbase, baby. Venture capitalists. I'm willing to bet these are VCs. But look, ventures. This is VC as well. Ventures. Alchemy is also bullish. Roughly half of these are bench are VCs. And what do VCs do, guys? They pump your crypto. They pump it. It matters. I don't care if you're a cash but maxi and you hate that. If you want to make money, stop marrying your crypto and start diversifying. It's VC bet. You're early. It's at a bottom price. You know, again, I'm not telling you to buy. I'm just saying open your eyes a little bit. Aerodrome is a connected crypto. We bought it at 14 cents. Where is Everdrome now? Above $2. Again, you're leaving gains on the table the more closed-minded you're becoming. Okay? I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. I'm just here to help you make money. Again, I'm not your friend. I'm not here to be your buddy and give you confirmation advice. I'm here to tell you how to change your life one step at a time, one crypto at a time. So it's up to you guys if you want to take my advice and now take the reins and do your research or say, you know what? Screw this guy. I'm going to go all into Casper, all into Bitcoin. Either way, I don't care. And listen, those two cryptos are totally fine. Ethereum, Casper, and Maxi. Casper and Maxi. <laughs> Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Casper are totally fine if you want to be if you want to be a Maxi. They're the three best crypto to do it, in my opinion. I'm just never going to do it, nor would I ever tell someone, hey, it's smart to do it. I think you're leaving games on the table. Yes, they're they're not they're not as risky and you can sleep better at night, but I sleep better knowing I'm 10x in my plays or more uh, than just watching my coin go like this for a long time. So it's up to you, obviously. Do what you want. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to bring this up to you guys. Uh, I will make videos on those two crypto that I mentioned, but I wanted to bring them up here. Uh, also, an announcement, too, real quick before I get to a Q&A. So Patreon. Um, I'm going to be migrating Patreon to WAP. I already made an announcement on Patreon. Um, you can still join Patreon now. I haven't fully developed the uh, platform yet on WAP. Um, just know, though, because uh, a lot of you guys ask me for one-time payments and stuff like that, they're going to have that option on WAP. So whoever wants to join on WAP, uh, Patreon, for some reason, a lot of my members lately have been getting disconnected a lot, and I can't always get, get them back in. So it's very annoying what's happening to Patreon. So um, I message their support. They're not the best to get them back. So it is what it is. Um, WAP was great. I just spoke to, to their team. They're really proactive. So the, the move was definitely necessary to me. But just keep in mind, if you are a member watching this, I put an announcement. Don't freak out. You're totally fine to stay there. But for anyone that's looking to join now, um, you can still join on Patreon. But if you want to wait a few days as well, I am going to be having WAP eventually live. So just keep that in mind. Now let's get into a Q&A. Yeah, guys, try to refrain from this because I want to get into the actual questions in the chat. I don't want to be uh, doing picks. And by the way, not not you. All you guys tagging me on Twitter, John, buy this, do this. I'm not pumping your crypto. You guys are wasting your time. I want to say that. I see all the tags. I don't answer my messages. I don't answer your tweets. I am doing what I want to do. No one is buying me off, okay? I don't take paid sponsors. I'm not promoting your crypto. Okay, I don't care if you're a company watching, another YouTuber, or someone that wants to make money off their pick that no one knows about. I am not selling my soul. Okay, if I like the pick, I'll research it naturally and I'll buy it. I'm okay if you guys want to bring it up to me, but all you guys say, oh, we need John on this. John's got to buy this. John's got to do this. You're wasting your time. In fact, that actually hurts you because now I'm less likely to want to even go after that crypto because of all your mentalities of trying to pump it and just dump on retail. Okay, I am looking out for me, first and foremost, and my Discord and you guys. I am not going to just pump a crypto. First of all, I have no power on that anyway. Some of you may disagree, could care less. I'm being brutally honest. I bring up plays that I believe in by my own accord. No one is pulling my strings, okay? And no one's ever going to do that. I am my own person, and I will never change. So I wanted to bring that up and clear the air on that one because... These tweets on Twitter are getting freaking annoying. <laughs> They're getting very annoying. Uh, 
But to answer your question, by the way, thank you for your super chat. I, I looked into Vera recently. I'm just not too impressed. They have high inflation, which is not a deal breaker. But when I researched it in totality, I'm just not – I'm not crazy about it. It's just another layer one to me. I don't really see a big difference that makes it stand out. Hey, John, what's your opinion on Poker Bridge? Yeah, that's one of Dion's picks. I don't know much about it. I don't like buying DEX tokens. I don't like using VPN, so naturally I didn't research it. So I really don't know much about it. I do know it's performed pretty decent. I know BitBoy also announced he bought it. I trust Dion. Dion's a great investor, has made very good calls. He's even made some good calls with me. Um, so it's probably not a bad crypto at all. I just I don't have any information on my side to give to you, though. Um, but, but yeah, I don't buy anything that's not on Coinbase at this point, Coinbase, Uphold, Gemini, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not even going to be remotely interested in. So yeah, it, it's probably not a bad play, but it's definitely not one I'm going to buy. Armando, what is up? Appreciate your time, wisdom and guidance. Yo, <laughs> but John, <laughs> yo, thank you so much. You're the best. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, John, happy Monday. Hey, what's up, Lynn? Um, I think you said you wanted to be a mod here on my chat, right? Uh, I got to figure out how to do that. Maybe I'll find you in the regular chat. I think it lets me add you. But um, thank you so much for the uh, $5 super chat. It really means a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you, Lynn. Hi, John. What would you advise for the fastest? To yeah, that's the wrong mentality to ask. Fastest two to three X. What do you want to just buy something, snap your fingers, three X it, and then flip it to another thing? Like, I'm not the guy for that. Listen, all my plays are buy and hold. Okay. Do we make some quick two to three Xs? Yeah, we do definitely, especially on Discord because we get into early cryptos. But uh, am I gonna say, yeah, guys, this one's an automatic two three X? Go ahead, buy, snap your fingers. Uh. Not, I'm not your guy for that. Uh, with all due respect, of course. I just, listen, I'm not here to make fun or hate on you guys. I'm trying to rewire the mindset of this kind of question. Fascist 2 or 3x, don't worry about the short term, okay? A 2 or 3x with capital gains tax is shit. They're going to lose about half of that through taxes. And then you got to have like a lot of money down on it to make a lot of money. Like even 100k down on a crypto and you make a 2x which is you know next to 100k and you lose about half that taxes or 40 percent because it's short-term capital gains tax like is that worth it first of all 100k none of us had that laying around and secondly a 2x is nothing so my to reframe your question what's the best utility crypto that's discounted right now that can net me a 20 30x or more or a 10x that would be my question, okay? So I wouldn't be so concerned with this. Um, in terms of what plays to look for, just go down your watch list. You know, some examples, Art Block, LCX, PNG, Arrow, GFI. We have a lot of new calls, even Math and Ford. I gave you guys two here to look at. Um, so just go down the watch list, research, see what's discounted the most, see what you're holding. If all you're holding is, say, Caspa or Bitcoin or all your holdings are freaking meme coin, obviously what you do after that point is going to be a little different than what I would do. So um, it's all relative to you and what you're holding. Um, but, yeah, I hope that uh, helped you. Thank you. Oh, my God. I almost spit my water out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Eric, that was that was worth every every dollar you just spent on that chat. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> you know what, man? I think you should I think you should buy some GFI, man, because you know when you see a quick 2x on that, that tooth pain might just go away. Unless you eat a peanut butter and jelly and your teeth get stuck in the sandwich. In that case, you might have to go to the dentist. But uh yeah, GFI, it, that's good. Or you know what? You can go to the dentist and, and buy your GFI while you're waiting, while he while he's ready to uh <laughs> drill your teeth open. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are hilarious. Yo, that made my day, man. That was so funny. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't spit my water on camera. That would have been so embarrassing. <laughs> new member, Martif. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot in case you guys are just joining in. I have a new membership on YouTube for live streams. It's $1. Think of it as your $1 support to me, and I'm adding emojis to it. Hopefully this week, the guy's taking a few days to do it. 
Uh, it's going to be funny emojis. So your name gets lit up. You can super chat once in a while, I think, for free. I think once a month they let you do it for free or something like that. Um, and it's just cool. It'd be a nice, cool vibe in the chat. So more entertaining for me and for you guys. You could just be spamming and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. You have uh, two tiers, winner, a dollar, and champion, five dollars. And obviously you have my Patreon and Discord. That's if you guys just want to support, obviously. So, but thank you. Pab W uh, S. You're saying that math market cap is 66. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I was talking about historic way market cap. Yeah, fully diluted is 117. Yes. But the reason why I don't always bring up whole dilution is because some cryptos either hold a lock supply that they're not printing out or putting out. Or they're making burns, which in this case, MAPS token is doing burns. So that's why I didn't say that. But yes, you are correct. 117 million, which is still early. Remember, guys, these cryptos can can get to a billion to two billion roughly before they're married to Bitcoin. So if this you know remainder of the year is accumulation and Bitcoin is trading sideways, let's just say, it can realistically 1020x right now before it marries Bitcoin. So that's a pretty good gain on the table. Um, so yeah, but yeah, good uh, good insight. Hundred percent correct. So that's gonna fall on you, okay? Um, I said in a recent video, you want to have like five or ten main bags that you're primarily focused on. Then you can have a separate portfolio. So think of it as like three portfolios or whatever you decide to do, right? Main bags, five or 10 that are heavy allocated. It could be three to 10, okay? If you have less money under like 10K or whatever, I would say three to 10. 50K, 100K, you can have five to 10, right? Um, five to 10 or three to 10 main plays that you're heavily allocated and heavily bullish on. Then you can have a meme coin portfolio if you want to, where you put like, twenty dollars in fifty dollars hundred dollars if you're making a lot of money maybe 1k and then move move you know set and forget leave whatever um that's fine exposure if it goes to zero your main bags are there so that's up to you obviously and then you can do what i'm doing now my low caps where i have a separate portfolio i'm doing what's called the emerging marketplace they're all low caps now my last like 10 plays are all low caps where you put like a one-time two time maybe three time investment into it set it forget it and then if you're buying bottoms like we're doing now for math forda png aerodrome if they 100x even if you put a one-time payment in there imagine turning 1k into 100k or 50k that's a very big game right so that's what i'm doing um obviously it's a little more upkeep to do it i don't work a job anymore so i can manage the time to do it but at the very least, you want to have at least three to ten main plays. You could do one or two also if you want to do it, whatever. One to ten main plays that you're focused on. If you work a job, that's probably fine by itself. And then if you want to do the whole lottery portfolio, that's fine. If you want to stay away and just do low caps, you could do it as well. So it's up to you. That's just what I'm doing. Great question. That was a great question. Ugh. Be, uh, probably gonna say your name right. Bio, uh, thanks for everything, brother. Been watching you since last April. Holy crap, man! Wow, first of all, thank you for your super chat. That's the biggest one today. And secondly, my god, man, see, I love it when you guys make gains, even when you're not in my group. That to me really shows that I'm making a difference. Holy crap, man. That is the best news I heard all day. Yeah, I am. This is not alcohol, but I'm going to toast to you some coffee. And I am going to make a PR today in the gym for you. I'm benching today. Uh, shout out to Architect who's watching. I am going to surpass my 225. I will get the bar stuck on me and yell for a spot to help me <laughs> if I have to in honor of your comment. So thank you. <laughs> that's, that's awesome, man. I'm so happy for you. Very good. <clears throat> um listen just because i'm not bullish doesn't mean it won't do well it's just my perception of it right everything in crypto is perception i know some of you joke and say i have a crystal ball i don't <laughs> i don't <laughs> i mean you know i know it's a joke right um 
personally, I don't see the need for BRC20. Everyone at this point knows Bitcoin is meant to be a store of value. No one's going to like Starbucks and saying, yo, give me a $4 coffee. I'll pay you in Bitcoin. But it might take me 10 minutes to pay you or an hour to pay you. Like no one's doing that, right? Um, so people pretty much know Bitcoin is not perfect already. It's perfect in its own right of being decentralized, secure. You can be your own cyber bank and go to any country, and it's the same price wherever you go. But in terms of a peer-to-peer -peer cash, it's got a lot of limitations. And the BRC20s, although could be bullish, I just don't see – I don't get super excited to hear about that. I believe in scaling solutions for Ethereum, for blockchains, for ledgers, but not for Bitcoin. Like, I know a lot of you guys like mint layer and stuff like that. I don't know. To me, it's not really, I don't see a point in it, but it could do well. It definitely could. So it's up to you for sure. Don't let me discourage you. Listen, I'm just telling you what I think, you know. <clears throat> the real truth hurts. Yo, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for being on Discord. You're a very good, very good role model. I see you all the time. You're very proactive. You give good advice. And you're, you're pretty knowledgeable, man. I really appreciate your presence there. Thank you. Aunt Lynn, give me that wrench. Okay, we'll do. I got to find you. I don't know how to do it here, though. Um, I have to find you in the in the regular chat to do it, I believe. I'm not tech savvy, but yeah, I'll try to get to you today. <clears throat> it's going to be hard to find you with this many people watching, but I will get to you. Um, anyone else that wants to be a moderator, too, let me know. I'm not taking everybody, but I am going to give Lynn because she's a, a, a very good uh, role model very proactive and she's always here so i definitely appreciate your land for doing this thank you a clark john it's definitely stacking time for me yes yes you want to be stacking listen you're never going to be perfect in this market um my advice i gave someone uh the other day i was, I was actually at a bar yesterday with one of my friends who were catching up we had a drink and he was telling me about his job and stuff like that and I told him, I said, listen, you're never going to feel ready to do anything. When I started YouTube, I didn't feel ready. I was working a job. I was like, let me get a camera. Let me get a mic. <laughs> Still don't have one. <laughs> I was like, let me not film my car. Let me get an office. Let me get fancy music edits. And I said, F all that. I don't give a F what anyone thinks. I'm doing it in my car. I don't have a mic. I'm not going to be an entertainer. It's all about disseminating information, being an honest person. Okay, same with investing. You see a big discount like we saw recently. I don't care if I dump all my money into it and then the next few days or a couple weeks it stays down. That's my my mistake, okay? Not, not my mistake. That's my action. That's, that's the result of my consequences, my actions, okay? I am okay with that. As long as I got in and I went in heavy and I caught that discount, I am fine with that. What I'm not fine with is watching discounts, which are essentially opportunities, come by and I'm like, oh, wait till tomorrow. I'll wait till next day. I'll wait till two weeks from now. The biggest war's coming. And I'm like, because at that point, you're putting your 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 life in God's hands or whatever, whatever you believe in, right? You're putting your your life in a circumstance you cannot control. So essentially you're limiting your future. Okay. Like Think about it, right? You guys go on a job interview or a promotion. What usually feels the best when you're when you're most surprised at what's happening, right? Or in an interview, you're, you're nervous because you don't know the outcome, right? You give it your all. You don't feel ready. But then when you make that, uh, when you reap the rewards you sow, you feel better. The same happens for here. You'd be surprised how much this carries over. Um, so yeah, if you're stacking again, you're stacking big discounts early, even today, guys. Yeah, it's not as big as it was a few days ago, but it's still big, and we can still see another sell off too. You know, the Bitcoin having usually has sell offs. So again, you're still early, so keep that in mind. I don't want to discourage you guys and say, "Oh man, I missed it two days ago. I'm just gonna stay away." Like, no, you're here early. <laughs> you're early. You're still early. <clears throat> What do you think of Nervos? Um, yeah, I covered that before on a live stream. I wasn't, it's okay. I wasn't too impressed with it. Um, it's not bad, it just wasn't ideal for me. F your teeth, bro. You can buy new teeth. <laughs> yeah, that comment, I, I almost spit my water out. I was like, oh my god. 
Yeah, man. GFI is going to be a friggin' unicorn company, man. DeFi, RWA, BlackRock's in on it. Coinbase's in on it. Multiple VCs in on it. Like, people can fund it all they want. They can only do so much. Like that one guy who funded Aerodrome and called it a rug. You're going to watch the price do this. Like, you can sit here and watch it happen, or you can get in and research before it happens. Like, GFI, my bag is very heavy for a reason. I am not missing that rocket ship up. And it will happen. It will happen. So people are going to fade me as they always do. They're going to say, John doesn't know what he's talking about, whatever, blah, 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 blah. Again, words mean nothing, okay? Winning never lies, not to sound arrogant, and actions always speak. It doesn't matter what I say. I can say whatever I want. What is actually going to happen? That's the question. And only time will tell. But good to see you, Jay. Good to see you, man. Also, my mod on Discord. David, you became a member. Awesome, man. Awesome. You'll be having some fun emoji soon. You'll be awesome. Yeah, guys, I, I'm not going to bring this up. I, I want to make this live stream where I can answer the comments. Unfortunately, I cannot get to that. I'm sorry. Maybe in another live stream, I will. Um, I want to refrain from spending so much time on researching cryptos. Um Sorry about that. I have a lot of super chats here too. I didn't even get to the chat yet. Uh, hey, John, what's your advice on how to handle wanna buy anxiety when big crashes happen out of funds? Yeah, so pretty much what I said, right? You're never going to feel ready. So just just jump the gun and do it. Not financial advice, of course. Um, by the way, thank you for your super chat. Yeah, like anything else, right? Job interview, job promotion. Some of you guys going on a date, you get nervous, right? You get butterflies. Okay, because you inherently feel like you're not ready yet, or you feel like it might not go your way, right? The the ideal outcome. Okay, the same happens with investing, right? All these same feelings you feel, it's because you're making a decision that could change your life for better or worse, right? So of course, naturally you're gonna be feeling uncertain. So now I'm trying to teach you that it's normal to feel like that and to actually be proactive and take action. Don't try to be perfect chasing the biggest discount. That is the most common beginner mistake. That's why we have a fear and greed index because people think they're geniuses like, oh, the market's going to have uh, Bitcoin hitting $47K, $632 because this TA guy said it. It's going to happen. He said it. Oh, and this guy said it too, so it's going to happen. But those people will definitely go silent and regret have regrets. This market is not logical. It's emotional. It's emotional, and it's going to stay emotional, just like stocks. So um, I hope that helped you. Food and crypto. Whoever is selling their bags now will miss this run. I completely agree. They're going to miss it, or they're going to come back in later on and buy much higher than they expected. <clears throat> so any crypto that gets experimental on Coinbase, which, by the way, Aerodrome was and I think still is experimental, and our block used to be experimental. So it's two reasons. Either <clears throat> they're running security checks on it or the trading volume is being tested. If the trading volume is too low, they can take it off and delist it. Most cryptos, though, do not get taken off Coinbase once they get on. Some do. Some do. MAV token, I feel, is not going to happen. Is it a risk? Of course. And when you buy it on Coinbase, they have you check off the boxes to make sure you're okay with it. Again. Um, it's up to you. Art Block got to me. So for those who don't know, I bought Art Block when it first came out, and then I flooded myself out. I sold it because I was scared of them being delisted. And then I ended up buying back in before it got to 10 cents again And when they took the label off. And I'm like, okay, now I know the experimental label is just there for like running tests on it. So for example, Aerodrome, right? It's kind of weird experimental yet coinbase backed it why would it be experimental it's for that reason low trading volume and or because it could be both or, or one or the other trading volume so yeah i'm not concerned about it but again if that makes you feel a little uneasy then obviously you can either stay away or you can put less money into it if you do like it so that's your call you know full transparency <clears throat> first of all thank you for your super chat secondly uh 6k 
I would put that into one or two cryptos max. So out of those, how many you got? One, two, three, four, five. If you want, you could put it into all of them. But I would, if it was me doing that, I would then DCA further into all of them going forward. But if you don't have much money per month, like say you only have 1K to invest per month or less, then in this case, I would put that 6K into one or two if it was me. Um, so I'll just tell you what I would do. I would pick two, one or two. Either uh, the safest ones on that list is Caspa uh, and Art Block. However, CTX, very bottomed out, high risk crypto, but very good. LCX is also amazing. But the reason why LCX falls a little bit short of the risk is because at the end of the day, it is an exchange crypto. So they are a little riskier. But out of those two, the safest ones are ABT and CAS. But PNG is a freaking massive one. I hold a very big bag of that. Same with LCX, and I'm also holding CTX. I actually recently bought CTX again recently. I DCA'd. So all those picks are bullish on, but yes, I would do one or two at a time. And the safest ones on that list is Casper and Artblock. Thank you. All right, let's get into the regular chat now. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll look for Lynn. <laughs> We'll try to find Lynn. It's like finding Waldo. We're going to find Waldo, but we're going to find Lynn. Yeah, Aerodrome was doing amazing. Best tokenomics? Um, I would say Casper has best tokenomics. It's actually no, PNG. PNG's got 94% circulating. And it's pretty much fair launch because the remaining supply is in the liquidity pool. Which is their top wallet. So I would say Casper and PNG have the best tokenomics hands down. And then Art Block is not far behind and same with LCX. Art Block has the remaining supply like in their ecosystem to deploy with the apps. And then LCX, they have over 80% circulating. You can also put Quant in this too. Quant's got good tokenomics as well. Um, now, tokenomics also plays a factor in allocation. So in that case, Casper hands down is the best one. But even then, PNG is good. Um, I forget what LCX's allocation is, but it's, it's low. And Artbox is not public, but I imagine it's pretty low too. Um, See, so yeah, I hope that answered your question, Jay. Good to see you. I saw your video today on Twitter. I didn't get a chance to like uh, comment or anything, but good video that you put out there. Good message. Nice, man. Nice. Likewise, man. Appreciate you, and I wish you a lot of success. I really do. What's up, Joe? Good morning. Yo, thank you, man. Thank you for being the mod and, and a Discord member. I really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Do you think it'll recover? I mean, I'm sure some people are going to trade this. Of course, they always do. Some are going to be like, oh, man, it dropped 99%. Let me put $1,000 at one penny and see if it goes up to like that price again. So... It'll probably recover in that sense, but long term, I don't know. Um, they definitely lost trust amongst investors, but I really can't speak for that. I, I don't know. I don't have as much information. I was just going based off what I saw initially and what the chart looks like. It's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I have no idea. Yes, yeah, say I don't know much about Aptos, but Say's good. Um, sushi's all right. I prefer Arrow. Um, yeah, you want to swap, it's all fun. They're going to recover. <laughs> I mean, some are going to do it. Hey, you might make some gains. I would never do it. I don't care to do it, but I know some DJs will do it. So, you know, it, it, at your own risk, right? <laughs> nice there, nice, nice. Copious. I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it means a lot. And John, are you bullish? No, I'm dearish. Grand that face. <laughs> you remember those games back in the day? GTA, San Andreas, Vice City, Liberty City. I used to love those games. PS2 was the best growing up. Honestly, I would do it. I recently sold my H bar for Caspa. They were both 
2.6 billion circulating market caps. And I made that move. So in your case, I, I probably would swap XRP too, to be honest. I actually did that already. I swapped XRP a while back for cash flow, but I also had a very small position in XRP. I just want to uh, <clears throat> consolidate it. Yeah, that's what I like the most. I mean, when I was in stocks, everyone in stocks thinks crypto scam me. And obviously, rug pulls like freaking grand base is not going to give them confidence. But for me, it was the how fast you can get financial freedom because in stocks, it takes you about 10 years to just make a 2x, which average role made us what a, a 15, 20x in like less than a month. Like, I would have to be like 100 years old to do that in stocks. I'm going to say it was some shady. You know small company in stocks and they went to the moon like amazon um so that exposure to a fast market to make money was good also i realized a lot of people were not like there was youtubers here but nobody was like everybody kind of sounded the same way a lot took paid sponsorships a lot just copied each other i see some now copy me use my thumbnails use my titles it's whatever don't care to me it's just flattery imitations flattery right um, but I wanted to be different. So it was an emerging market for me that I wanted to learn, but also teach. And I felt like a lot of people didn't have that knowledge on it. So I wanted to make money with it, which I did. And I wanted to teach it, which I'm doing. And I like the market too. It's just awesome. I really do think uh, crypto is the future. You know, I can picture us using crypto as payments, as cash. So I'm just passionate about it. That's why I like it a lot. And uh, yeah, I could probably name interests all day for it, but uh, great question to us. Um, yeah, it was great. It's, it, it was a great move for me to do. <clears throat> I mean, listen, if you're holding XRP at this point, it's up to you. If you're up in profit, do what you want, you know? XRP is not bad. I just don't like the mentality the, the community has where it's the king crypto. Anything inferior to it is, if you make a 5X from a, uh, from a, a meme coin, you're an idiot because it's inferior to XRP. Like, I hate those people. Those people just get blocked by me. Or, hey, XRP, it's going to $10,000. Um, get in now because the team said so. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> you know, to me, that's a cult, you know. I, like, not the community as a whole, but the ones who think like that. And listen, if Casper is the same way, if they say, hey, it's going to $50, it's like, I'm going to say, okay, guys, you sound like XRP. Casper is not going to $50 uh, in this cycle. Or the ones who said Bitcoin was going to a million dollars in 30 days, like two years ago. It's just stupid. To me, it's stupid. And it's just unnecessary. And you're misguiding your audience when you talk like that to me. <laughs> I guess we'll go a little longer than an hour because I have to get through some of these comments. That I do see a couple more super chats. So, I bought Forda and Math. Just watch the playback. I mean, ever Joe, if you zoom out, even now two dollars is good. You're not going to get my entry at fourteen cents. That's gone, but you know it, it's still good when you zoom out. Yeah, the one saying it's going back to one, they're dreaming. It's not going to happen. Nah, you're the legend. Still fading on Suku? They probably are. I mean, I'm not. Maybe you missed my video. I actually bought it. <laughs> I bought it at 14 cents and I'm holding it. It's a good crypto. What's up, Hunter? Uh, fifty to eighty dollars this cycle, five to eight billion market cap. Yeah, Bellodrome's good. I don't hold it, but it's good. I know uh, Archetype likes it. It's a good play. He's a good investor, by the way. I definitely recommend you guys watch uh, Archetype if you're not subscribed already. A, a really good investor, very genuine guy. I will be doing more collabs with him soon. Yeah, he meant maybe he maybe he missed my video. It's okay. I mean, I, I didn't put the title in the video, so it is what it is. <laughs> I guess you can see I'm fading it, even though I hold it. Whatever. <laughs> nice man, nice. 
Yeah, PNG is great. PNG is going to run like Art Block, I'm telling you. It's such a good play. It's scarce. It's catering to Avalanche, Hedera, Songbird, Flare, Emos. They have a new interface coming out. They might get on Binance soon. They put it on their Twitter. Like, man, PNG is going to heat up. And it recovered massively well. Again, there's not many holders. And it's very decentralized in nature from the, from the wallets. And it doesn't take much to send a soaring, guys. I'm telling you, PNG is a good one. You'll see for yourself. Do your research. Yep. Yeah, you guys see, you guys know. I'm telling you, you don't have to convince me. I already know. <laughs> John. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, is Coinbase down? Really? I haven't checked. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. It's a good exchange, but they, they, they have issues with holding uh, volume. Um, yeah, it's possible for sure. Definitely a black swan event in the making. I mean, it already kind of caused a flash crash. Um, so when I do WAP, I might get the option to do it. I haven't decided yet. Um, you could also do one-time payments on WAP too when I make it final. So I'll update you guys. But, yeah, I'm still building that. So it's going to take some time uh, for sure. You like it, right? It's pretty cool. Yeah, every time I start a stream now, I show that background so you guys can, like, envision what it's going to be like for you next year or this year, whatever, like this, top of the world, top of the mountain, financially free. Maybe you tell your boss, go after themselves. You're like, this is what I'm going to do. You spend the entire day on a Wednesday afternoon going on a hike because you can, <laughs> going on a vacation for six months because you can, going to the movies, renting the whole damn thing out, going like this and saying, Oh, man, everyone's at work. Maybe I'll get a lunch today at 2 o'clock in the afternoon because you can. <laughs> you know, when you're financially free and no one can tell you what to do, it is an amazing feeling, guys. Um, I, I, I speak from experience. You know, I still stay in touch with my coworkers from my job. Yesterday I went to a bar with one of them. They bar. Um, but, man, being my own boss is, is the best thing. I should have done this ages ago. It really is the best thing. Because now I'm responsible for my own success or failure, which to me, I'm more than happy to take that that uh, that role because I, I won't let myself fail. I won't. I promise you that. All right, you guys are talking politics, so I'm going to skip that. Yeah, it feels like 80s, right? You ever see uh, Stranger Things? It reminds me of Stranger Things. I love that show, by the way. Definitely watch it on Netflix. No, I'm not getting paid to say that. Um, great show, though. Uh, I'm probably going to rewatch that again tonight. I love rewatching shows. I'm rewatching Yu Yu Hakusho. I was watching all my Dragon Ball Z again, Super, all that stuff. I love rewatching shows. Yu Gi Oh! Um, I was watching Equalizer 3 with Denzel Washington. Uh, Narcos with Pablo Escobar. I love watching all these different shows. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a bit. I still haven't seen Lynn yet. <laughs> uh... Yeah, Ando's pretty good. I like Ando. RWA, backed by Coinbase. It does have high inflation, but it's a pretty good crypto. I'm not holding it, but it's on my watch list. Pretty good. What's up, Colby? Shout out to you. Nah, man, that's all you. You're the GOAT. I'm just a, a guy on a camera. <laughs> uh, nice, nice harmony. <sighs> Let me adjust myself here. Man, we got a lot of comments here. Uh, it could. It definitely could. Depends what transpires overseas, of course. And the U.S. getting involved definitely is not good for the market. But if it happens, I mean, hopefully we get a good outcome. You know, I'll pray for that. But as an investor, I'm going to take advantage of it. Um, you got it. I'm very happy to see that you're learning. <laughs> What's up, man? I can't wait till you guys can use the emojis on uh, the ones who join the membership for YouTube, the live streams. 
Um, like I said, it's only a dollar if you guys want to pay a dollar. It's going to be emojis a lot funnier than this. Like, it, it's just cool. You know, it's a nice experience. Because so I'm going to be live streaming at least like three, four times a week now. So you guys will be doing it a lot. <laughs> John to the moon. Hey, John. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I, I, I had a feeling it was coming. You guys are so funny. When is the mean coin dropping? Yeah, it's not. I'm not making a crypto, guys. I just want to become rich. Uh, uh... Yes, I jumped on math. I, I covered that in today's video, the live stream. <laughs> hey, John's still bullish from a tire yet. Yeah, I just joined. My mom turned me on to you. Wow. Shout out to your mom. That is a great parent, man. The fact that your mom is looking out for you to make you financially free, dude, she's a goat. Tell her I said that. She's a freaking goat. Um, I'm very happy you joined. Uh, take it one day at a time, small steps, you know. Um, just start making moves. Obviously, you have your mom for guidance. Ask her too. And uh, I, I wish you, I wish you both, your entire family, massive success. Uh, tell her thank you for me, and shout out to your mom and shout out to you. Awesome. No, I am not. I don't buy any DEX tokens. If I can't buy on Coinbase or Uphold or Gemini, I'm not buying it. And I'm not changing that anytime soon. I don't care how many of you guys tag me. I don't care if even my friends tag me. I am not buying a crypto that I don't want to buy. Um, and my friends know this too. So I don't change anything about myself that I don't want to. Um, I have my strategy, my plan, and I'm going to stick by it for the whole cycle. <clears throat> <laughs> bye bye, Grand Base. Um, I still can't find Lynn here, but there's so many comments. Um, I'm just scrolling down because we're over an hour, and I'm just looking for a good comment for good questions. Um, well, yeah, Dot Coin. Uh, I mean, listen, founders come and go all the time. Like uh, Charles left Ethereum, Gavin Wood, the Polkadot founder, left Ethereum. Um, Charles left, I think I said Charles already. Whatever. But people just like, they start businesses, they get them up there, and then they either have conflicts or they say, screw it, I'm going to start my own thing. Um, one of the co-founders of Dot left though, Danny, um, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that was for Dot. I read something like that. But I don't, I don't like Polkadot because Polkadot is too inflationary for me. And uh, I like Art Block better. There's better plays out there. But I'm sure it's an it's a okay crypto. Yeah, I, I don't. The name sucks. Deep Fake AI? <laughs> Come on. I'm not buying that. The name, the name has to matter to me. I'm not even going to research that. Deep Fake AI? How stupid is that? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. Gala's my tax hedge. I lost so much. That was great. That's number two today to that the dentist comment. Oh, my God. That is so funny. Gala is up 4X in the bottom up massively. <laughs> I can't tell if you're trolling or not. But uh, listen, if you bought at a penny, yeah, you're up a lot. So in your case... Awesome games, man. Awesome. You'll probably never see a Petty Gala again. <clears throat> Bro, we entered a bear market? No, this is all planned, guys. All manipulation. They want you guys to think the market's over so you guys don't make any moves. And the, the bulls go, okay, guys, we're going to send a group text. All the whales go by today. Everyone send the market soaring. SEC said, gave us the green light. Let's all buy crypto. <laughs> and then you guys are like, holy shit, the bull market's back. Let's go ape in. And then they sell on your heads. Happens every single cycle. So that's why I say the more self-education you have, the more self-awareness, the better off you're going to be. Which is why the majority of you guys watch me, right? Because I tell you guys what's happening in the market. I'm not perfect, but I do have uh, – I was here last cycle as well to see what was happening then and see what's happening now. <clears throat> Yo, Fruity Pebbles, that was the that was the cereal back in the day. Okay, uh, deep 
I hope you enjoyed your comments. You sound like a bot now, so I'm going to just block you. Um, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I have to find Lynn. <laughs> Need to find Lynn. John just started watching. Yeah, I watched it. it. It's a great show, man. It's so good. It teaches you so much about life, like the low points, finding your journey. I love that more than Dragon Ball Z. That's my favorite show. My favorite show. And the, and the main character, Yusuke, is so funny. He curses all the time and stuff. Like, you can tell it was made in the 90s or because, like, all that stuff nowadays you can't get away with. But they got away with that back in the 90s. So it's a great show. All right. So let's scroll down a little bit. Guys, the new coins you're asking me about, just watch the video. It's Matt and Florida. Hmm. I found Lynn's super chat, but I can't find her real comment. <laughs> John is a parrot. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, I mentioned that before. You don't have to keep screaming it. <laughs> I mentioned it before. It's probably a rug pull. I mean, I'm only judging it from what I saw. They're calling it a hack. I mean... Is that actually a hack? I mean, only they know, right? So we can only speculate. Um. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, take it one day at a time. Good job. Okay, I can't find uh you know what, Lynn? Um, Lynn, if you're watching, at the end of the video, just comment in the regular comment section and then I'll I'll, I'll try to add you that way. Let me get to the super chats. I saw we got some more. Uh whoops. <clears throat> okay, you have six K in each. Okay. Then by all means you can do all of them if you want. It's up to you. I still think less is more with that, but yeah, that that's fine. Yeah, you asked this before in the in the chat. Um, I honestly don't. No offense, I don't want to spend so much time going over it. Um, I mean, I'll take a quick look. First impression. Uh, Brg. So keep in mind, this is a first impression, okay? I don't care if you don't like it or like it. So is that 8 billion or 8 million? Uh, okay, so 8 billion, 80% circuit, not bad. Let's see what it is. Uh Okay, it's an Oracle, BNB, not bad, not bad. It's been around last cycle, went up to 33 cents and it went down this hard. That's bad. Very few cryptos go to, it actually went to zero, if you think about it. Uh, let's check the year chart. And it's up 67%, which is okay, but that's eh. that's not enough gains in a year for me to be like, great. I mean, it didn't even 2x in a year, and it's down that much in the all. Let's see what exchange it is on. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like this. It's been around for four years, and the top exchange is PancakeSwap, BitMart. Like, it's not on KuCoin. Kraken, Coinbase, Binance, Gemini, no exchange. It's not even on Mexi. So to me, it's a red flag, right? Because now all this makes sense. It's down this much. It's been around this long. It hasn't made too many gains in the last year. This shows to me the team either left, is rugging it, or is not proactive enough to market it. Or whatever. I'm not, I don't want to judge it too much, but... 
Yeah, I would not be buying this crypto. Again, first impression, but to me, there's too many red flags and question marks. Um, so be careful if you're holding this. That's all I'm going to say. Be careful. Crypto Danks, what is up, man? Good to see you. How do you feel about Sui? Much love. So I did hear Sui is like linked to, like it's very similar to Say. I haven't researched it too much. Um, but I know uh, BitBoy likes it too. Um, yeah, Sui is not bad. They do have high inflation like Say, but it's not bad. I actually have it in my watch list. I just didn't really... I didn't really do a deep dive on it because the market cap's already large. I mean, it's a fully diluted 11 billion market cap. So <clears throat> because I have say already, say and like cash blood, stuff like that, I didn't feel like really putting much effort into researching this one, but it's not bad at all. It's definitely not bad at all. It's, it's, it's brand new too. It just came out, you know, this cycle. So it's definitely a safe crypto. And I did hear rumors. They're like, I think they're BC back, if I'm not mistaken. So that's bullish. So yeah, it's definitely a good safe play. I'm just not holding it, but yeah, it, it's good. Definitely good. Good to see you, bro. Um, well, I wouldn't consolidate any of those. Um, I mean, are you consolidating because you don't have enough funds to keep adding, or you feel like you know you want to chase discounts? So it depends on your mindset with that. I personally would not consolidate any of those. Um, if you're going to, the riskiest ones is CTX. And the other ones just pick, I guess. Because um, they're all pretty bullish. I mean, they're all bullish. CTX is the riskiest one because it's the smallest market cap and the supply is pretty scarce. So I would say CTX and you pick the second one. Um, on those on my watch list, not the other ones. Um, yeah, on those on my watch list, maybe at some point I'll look into it, but it is a large, like a mid cap at this point. So I'm not in a rush to, to research it right now. I'm looking at low caps, but on those, not bad. It's definitely not bad. I took a, I took a good look at it the other day. It's pretty good. What's up, Ryan? Thank you so much, man. As well as you, NFT queen. Thank you so much. Thank you for being on my discord as well. And I see we got a new member. It's a total. Oh, I love that name. Thank you, man. Walks in the woods. We'll turn walks on the beach. Yeah, that'd be awesome, right? That'd be so cool, actually. I would love that. Um, Ada, um, it probably could hit four to five dollars, maybe. It depends how proactive Charles is because. Cardano, I noticed they have a strong community. He's a great leader, but he has to be proactive, Charles, because Solana and these other layer ones are starting to take some market share from it. You know, so I mean, you could only say so much without putting the action in place. And I'm not saying he's not doing that. I'm just saying like he has to put his foot on the gas pedal a little bit more. But uh, it's it's still a good crypto. I don't hold it anymore personally, but it's still a very safe blue chip crypto. Um, so yeah, it could probably hit four to five dollars. If I'm being conservative. Yeah, one or two crypto is, is okay, but it's not ideal. So I definitely agree with you on that one. What's up, John? You still holding Spell? Spell was like three years ago. <laughs> no, I saw that a long time ago. That was when I first got into crypto. Yeah, Spell I am not holding. I'm surprised you even remember that. Yeah, Spell, that was... Uh, I remember getting out of that when Terra Luna crashed because I said, uh, Steelbook, because Spell is tied to a Steelbook coin, Magic Internet Money. And I was like, guys, after Terra Luna going down and, and then uh, other Steelbook coins were getting depegged, I'm like, yeah, I'm not holding any crypto that's tied to a Steelbook coin. So I actually sold Spell Token when that happened. When Terra Luna crashed, I think I had a small position in it that I sold. <clears throat> I have zero exposure. I can afford a membership plus uh, each week. You're not too late. You're definitely not too late. You're still super early. So just start researching. Take some action. Whether you enjoy my group or not, just make sure you're taking action. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but you're, 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 you're good. Don't be, uh, don't, don't be uh, scared. You're, you're good. 
Suku price prediction. So this one's going to be a little tough because I can't find any information on their vesting schedule, which means I don't know how much the coin will be diluted this cycle. So if they put full dilution, meaning the whole supply is in circulation, I would say two to five dollars is possible. If they don't dilute and it, it stays relatively low, which is around 200 million circulating, it can be five, ten dollars or more. So it's a big question mark as to where it could go. But regardless, it's a 1.5 billion coin cap. It's in Web3. Their wallet's bullish. They're linked to Polygon. They're linked to NFTs. It's in DeFi. It's a very bullish narrative. So regardless, it's definitely going to be a lot more than where it is now, which is like 15 cents. Um, so I hope that helped you. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, I'm going to be live streaming again tomorrow. So if I didn't get to your question, uh, I will try to get to it there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.